What's up guys? George, you're watching Red GT. Today we are going to be installing this decal from eBay. It's a really sweet one I got from eBay guys. There's two of them, one for the passenger side, one for the driver's side. We're gonna be putting them on the Renegade today. It's gonna change the look, it's gonna make it look way better. We're gonna have more of the black with the green. It's gonna look really sick. So today we're actually filming, putting one side on. The other side's done. I'll show you the end result when we're fully finished. Now I'm gonna start from the beginning, tell you guys what you're gonna need, all the tools, all the equipment, and then we'll throw this thing on. So let's get started. Okay guys, the weather's looking a little decent. As you can see, I haven't done this side yet. That's what today's plan is. I have two decals in this box. It also came with its own squeegee, but I'm gonna use my own squeegee since I like these a little bit better. Plastic, blue, has this little fabric on it with it. I like this one a lot. Also with this install, I recommend using some sort of blade. I'll probably link this down below. It's a whole kit. You guys want to use the same one besides those two guys something i'm going to recommend you use because it's going to come in real handy is some sort of magnet so i got these magnets online for like less than 10 bucks and it's like eight of them or so they're a little smaller but they're pretty strong and they work perfect they're going to come in handy trust me and the last thing i'm going to suggest is cleaning the area using some soapy water a rag make sure your area is clean you don't want to put a decal on if the area is dirty so with that said I'm gonna quickly wipe this down and then we're gonna start the install all right guys I'm done now let's keep moving so let's go ahead and take out this decal this is definitely a lot bigger than you think See if I can't stretch it out. And this is where the magnets are gonna come in handy. So, I just wanna let you guys know, all the decals are gonna be the same, but it's up to you the way you wanna set it up right. I'm not telling you there's exactly the same way you guys should do the exact same thing as I am, but you can follow these instructions as closely as you want. If you wanna kinda of veer off on your own or maybe make a little more adjustments, make a little more different adjustments, then it's on you, it's your decal. But, I'm gonna lay it out as a sample, and from there we'll start doing some cutting and we'll start uh, installing. Okay, so a couple things before we actually fully get started. There are instructions in here that come with it that tell you the different ways of how to do it, both wet install and dry install. Now it does recommend you do a wet install with bigger decals. I, on the other hand, I'm gonna go with a dry install and I'm going to cut it as I go to make it into smaller pieces. Typically, you want to do a dry install with smaller pieces, but I'm going to actually do a dry install, cut it into pieces as I go without ruining it, and you guys will see as I go how I do it. And it just kind of makes things a lot easier and faster. If you really want to do a wet install, you can if you want. I don't want to do it as one big piece. It's going to be a little tough, but it's up to you. Let me get the camera adjusted and then we'll get started. Okay guys, so for this first piece, what I want to do is I want this to start off right around here. This is where I wanted to start, right around here. So I'm gonna shift this over, but before I do that, this whole piece right here is just empty space. So I'm gonna cut it off, make it easier so I'm not hitting the mirror up here and kind of causing this wrinkle. Keep in mind, you're gonna be cutting a bunch of pieces as we go, so um, try not to make a mess. All right guys, so this is what I mean about cutting by pieces. You see how these, these two are away from this whole piece? Well, I wanna put this on first, so I'm gonna cut this off so it's just a single piece but it's good to use the magnets to kind of hold it in place so you know where the next piece will continue, which is how I'm gonna go about it. So without cutting your car, remove your magnets, set them off to where you want them, start cutting it before you finish cutting it, put the magnets back on, that way it's held in place where you want to put it. Something I forgot to mention, before we actually start peeling it to put it on, it's always good to run your squeegee across 
the decal just to make sure it holds on to the plastic before we rip that off. So you could probably do that before you even put it on your car. Just lay it on the ground, run your squeegee across the whole thing, just like that. Just to make sure it stays on that first plastic piece. I'm going to purposely have this overlap down a little past where the green paint is onto this panel. So that way when I throw it on, I can just slide the squeegee in, hide the piece a little better. So I'm gonna peel the back, cut this piece off. Now I have an exposed size to lay down. Now try to get as much of the air bubbles out. So after I did that, I'll move these magnets. Remove this side. And then I'll slowly pull it back and start squeezing it back. When we get to this point, we'll cut it. Now that it's fully cut, I can actually slide this over. So it's not in the way for the next side. Carefully cut the decal, not to scratch your car. So what I'll do now is continue to use this piece right up here to continue that illusion. And we'll see how it turned out. So for this side that I left overlapping, I'm gonna tuck it into the trim here. Okay guys, we're done with the first piece. It does take a little bit longer doing stuff like this because it involves going around pieces. But before I move on, see down here how that got into that crease of the door? What I'm doing is I'm gonna cut it right down the middle and then separate it on each side. Stick your squeegee in there and just slide it from left to right to make sure it holds. Alrighty. There we go, simple as that. Let's continue. So for this next piece, I'll probably have to cut it and it's gonna end here. So it's gonna be a bigger piece, but I think we can make it work. But first we gotta set it where we want it. All right where I have it, I think I like. Put a bunch of magnets down. I'm gonna start separating it. Nothing should be on the way with this one. So it should be as simple as feeling it. All right guys, so once you actually have it in, make sure you try to get all those air bubbles out. This one was a little tougher. I probably should have cut it a little bit better, so it's my fault, but... This will be the toughest piece of it all. The good thing is the air bubbles come out pretty easily. All right guys, it's coming along. So one thing I do want to make sure I mention to you guys, when you put this decal on, make sure it's warmer out. 
Uh, it's getting a little chill and if you get too cold when trying to put this stuff on, it starts to crack and it can break easily. Another good thing to mention, heat gun. I've mentioned heat gun before in the past. A heat gun can fix most issues. You just gotta warm it up a little bit, move it around if you have to, and it should take care of it. I'll probably do that towards the end, but heat gun is always good to have. So let's move on. Okay guys, we're gonna continue. Made a few other adjustments to kind of keep it the way I want it. So I'm gonna cut right here and just do this simple little piece here. And, uh, and then we'll start working on the other pieces. be able to move on okay guys so for the next piece I'm gonna cut all of this down I'm gonna place it on and then we'll move on to the next piece I'm slowly starting to run out of storage so I might have to do this off camera and show you guys as I go all right moving on Okay, so now I'm probably gonna do this piece up here, and then I'll work my way and do these smaller pieces. Well guys, it's turning up. It's turning out pretty well. So, I'm losing sun, the cloud coverage, and the temperature's dropping. So I kinda have to hurry now. So with that said, I'm gonna quickly finish this, and I'll just show you guys the end result. You guys get the gist of it. I'd explain what you have to do as you go. As you see, I've been cutting pieces as I go. Might take a little longer, but you'll get it nice and clean. So I'm gonna hurry up, finish this, and I'll show you the end result. Alright guys, so that was it. That's all of it. Took me a little bit of time. I recommend you take your time with this. It's something that you could mess up. If you do have little hiccups, that's okay. I mean, it's a pretty big decal and it's gonna be hard to tell. Honestly, I had a couple little hiccups, but I got away with it. Be fine. But with that said guys, I will leave a link for this exact decal. I got it off eBay. These guys were sweet enough to send it to me. Click on the link and search through the ones they have. They have a different variety. I really like this one. That's why I went with this one. Click on that link and you'll be able to check them all out. Buy the one you want. With that said, I'm George. This is Revenge GT. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.